Hey Taurus, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so very much for joining me. This is going to be for any moment of Taurus placements in their chart. Could be past, present, future energy. Could also be someone else's energy in your energy field. Only take what resonates. Need a rest for someone else. If it is not your story, y'all know the feel. Don't try to force it to fit. Check another reading. Check another placement in your chart or check back another day. This may not be your day. I'm reading for the Taurus Collective. So I cannot promise that everything that I say is going to resonate with every single person here. That's just not realistic, all right? Okay, Taurus, what is going on? Twin Flame Tuesday, what's going on with you and your twin? What is going on with Taurus and their twin spirit? Hmm. Y'all not talking, because they ain't saying nothing. What's going on? Okay, they really being difficult here. You know what it is? They have a lot they want to say, but they're holding back. And they feel like if they say anything that they might <laughs> regret it. Okay, let's see. Obsessed. Ooh, they obsessed with you. I'm yours, your mind. The chemistry is insane. I can't keep my hands off you. So some of you just could be a fire sign. Leo, every Sagittarius, or just someone you are extremely attracted to and is extremely attracted to you. We had bad date. I don't feel like this is going to work out. You may not be my match. Either you or them could be dating other people here and it ain't working out. And you know why it's not working out? Because it ain't meant to work out. Because it's like, what you doing? I'm your twin flame. Why are you dating somebody else? What are you even wasting your time for? Yeah, some of them got a sneaky link. It says, I'm passionate about you. I'm excited. It's exciting when I'm with you. Or some of you are maybe not telling other people that you know in common. Or it may not be public knowledge that you two deal with each other. Maybe this is not a third party, but for some of you, they might be seeing other people. A lot of kissing is going on. Y'all like to kiss. Look at that. Two cars with people kissing. Um, you know, Taurus does represent, you know, the mouth, the throat. We are all up in there. So that's not shocking to me, even though I do not like kissing. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm a germaphobe. I don't want nobody's mouth in my mouth. Ugh. All right, let's see. Too, too much information, right? We have unfinished business. I want a second chance with you to show you I can be the one for you. Aries just got this card, I believe. Either Pisces or Aries. I think it was Aries. Some of you can have a dog. Something about jelly beans is important. I don't know why. And, and pool, like shooting pool, the game. Pool and jelly beans. I don't know what that's all about, y'all. But that's what I'm hearing in my head. And someone has a red car, maybe even like a sports car or like a truck. You or your person. Okay, Taurus. What's going on here? One more card for Taurus. So this person is not done with you. Oh, it says the door is open. We got another one. Oh, wait, is that two? No, it's just one. The door is open and chasing you this person doesn't want to leave you alone they will keep trying so some of y'all got somebody about to be chasing you it says the door is open um go for it take a leap of faith they're ready oh i like it bottom of the deck we have springtime so that's where we are okay getting out enjoying life concerts parties gatherings and traveling some of y'all might have a lot of trips or events um planned for this springtime maybe for your birthday okay I just heard some of you are on the Aries uh, Taurus cusp, okay? Let's see, what do I want to get here? Let's see what's going on here. So you have somebody here that either one or both of you may be dating other people because y'all are on some kind of break or there's something going on between the two of you. But we got the eight of wands here. Somebody is getting ready to come in with some communication. Someone wants to communicate or make a move towards you. We got the star, we got the eight of wands. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. A lot of attraction. This person is obsessed with you, especially physically. The nine of cups. This is like, wow, this person is seeing you as their wish fulfillment. That's why, that's why they're like, we have unfinished business. I want a second chance because I can't let you go. But this person has been thinking a lot about you. Could be a Virgo, somebody moving really slow, time apart, taking a break. I definitely feel like y'all are not talking right now. And if you are, you're not talking a whole bunch. But that's about to turn around because it says the door is open. What's this unfinished business? The Knight of Pentacles? Slow. So the Hermit with the page of, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles. Two slow cards. 
a very fast card coming in, but it's been very slow between the two of you. We got the star card here, which is about being hopeful and optimistic about this connection, but somebody's been taking their own sweet time here. What is this chasing you? Because now they're going to be chasing you. What's chasing you? Spirit, what's chasing you? What in the world? What is this? Five of Cups in reverse. They're getting over a heartbreak or maybe getting over trying to cope with the heartbreak when it comes to you. Somebody could have mental health issues, emotional issues here. Yeah, they're ready to make things right with you. Libra energy with justice. Some of them want to even marry you. Put it on to make them want to marry me. I can't say marry me without doing that, y'all. I'm sorry, but I have to do it. <laughs> um, some of you, this is a Scorpio. Others of you, this is a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius is here as well as Libra. Okay. What do we want to do next? Because this person, it's like night and day with this person. It's like somebody is sitting around thinking about you constantly, incessantly. They're obsessed with you, right? They're sneaking around with other people or going on other dates and they're like, you don't compare to my person. You don't compare at all to my person. Why am I even sitting here with you? It's like, I need to drop you back off. What did what Jay-Z say in that song when he was like, you know, we, the woman gets in the car and he's like, she said something that he didn't like and he like, I'm about to drop you right back off. I can't remember the lyrics. It was a long time ago, but yeah, that's what I feel like. Somebody is just clashing with other people here. Let's see. But they're about to start chasing you. They're coming out of some kind of heartbreak, either with you or someone else. It could have been blocking this person from coming forward to you. Yeah, look at this. They were dealing with a gold digger. Um, They want your money and being you. Some of them were married. Look at that couple there. Some of them were married and this person was all about the bag. Look how he got that bag back there. That, she was like, I want that bag. Give me that bag. I'm after the bag. Mm -hmm. Could have been an earth sign. Gambling. Somebody could gamble a lot. Problems with addiction or gambling and bad finances. Some of them might have been in a connection um, with someone who had an addiction or either they have an addiction. Some kind of financial issues may have been with this unfinished business. Maybe that's what held them back from you. We do have the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, which talks about someone patiently and diligently working on their finances here. Moving. Aries just got this as well, I believe. A change of residence, moving in with your partner. So somebody here may live with someone else or there's an issue with moving in together here. Pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet uh, new love or more love. Some of you have a pet and maybe someone's going to get you a pet. I never really understand why they put that card in this deck. What does that have to do with love? <laughs> I mean, we can love our pets, but what does that have to do with um, romance? I, I never really understood that. But if it comes out, maybe it's meant to come out. Okay, let's see here. What's going on with this... Um, What's moving? What's moving, Spirit? The moon? Okay. The moon and the two of cups. This person lives with someone else. Maybe they live with someone else right now and they're hiding it from you. Or this is about someone living with someone else and this being a problem. Something about it that's like causing a problem here somebody lives with someone else it's like somebody has to move in order for this to work or maybe someone has moved i don't know maybe you were living with your twin and somebody moved out we got the ten of cups yeah there's a family dynamic we got the kids in the background could involve a pisces and then we have the page of pentacles somebody's money wasn't where they wanted it to be what is this i can't read these cards upside down the King of Cups in Reverse and the Knight of Swords in Reverse. This is emotional manipulation here. Pisces energy. The King of Swords is someone who lacks direction. They're all over the place. They're in and out. They're like a player. Uh, and then the Eight of Swords. Somebody's trapped in their head. Somebody feels stuck in a situation they need to walk away from. Pisces and Gemini energy here. Somebody needs to walk away from some other situation, whether that's physically or not. 
And it had something to do with somebody that played mind games, somebody that was a cheater, a liar, emotionally manipulative. Yeah, it's like somebody was focused on the past, but now they're like, I want to focus on the future. Cancer energy. So we have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look at this. Follow your higher calling here, Libra energy. Somebody is awakening to this connection. It's like a rude awakening too. Somebody is awakening. It's like they've done some soul searching, trying to figure out what this connection is all about. Um, but there's definitely, for some of you, a situation that has to end first. Somebody has to move out of a home with someone or um, you may be moving with this person, but there could be some gambling addictions here. I don't know if that's your person, that's you or the person that they, like the third party of their past person. But somebody gambles and... Somebody was using them for money. But this person will be chasing you soon. Let's let's get some messages because that was all over the place. That was all over the place. Let's, let me get some of these first. Obstacles. It says, speak up. Time to be honest about the way you feel. I told y'all this yesterday. I told you your throat chakra was... Um, the card for the throat chakra came out. It's time for you to speak up because it says obstacles overcoming uh, differences together. There are obstacles between you. That's cancer energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. It's time for somebody to speak up and say how they feel because that's how you're going to overcome the obstacles together. If you keep hiding how you feel, they keep hiding how they feel. Nothing's going to be done here. Somebody doesn't feel empowered to speak up in this connection. Oh, that's too many. One more card, please, Spirit. Okay, two more. I'm going to listen to what Spirit says. <laughs> truth seeking. You will discover the truth about this situation soon. I told you somebody had a wake up call. They had an epiphany in that hermit mode. And in the past, the past is causing blocks in the present. Exactly why we had the moon there. That's what the moon is all about. Somebody is the past person. Look, your partner only has eyes for you. Loyalty. They want you to know that despite what it looks like. They want you to know that. Definitely want you to know that. Let's get some uh, oracle messages and then the likely outcome or what's going to happen next. We'll see what questions I ask. I'm not sure. What is it that um, Pisces, um, Pisces, are y'all dealing with a Pisces? Where did that come? I keep, I keep saying Pisces and every reading, I just keep randomly saying Pisces. Who is the, what is this Pisces thing all about? Okay, Taurus, Taurus, not Pisces. <laughs> What do you need to hear right now? Messages from your person. I don't know if it's your, your thoughts, spirit. What do you need to hear right now? Moving out and moving on. See? <laughs> Separation, divorce, unhappy home. Aries, Pisces, Virgo. It says money conflicts too. So somebody definitely has been beefing over money. Money was a part of this connection with this other person. Okay? But somebody needs to move out of a home and move on in order to get into this connection with you or you need to do this. Take it how it resonates. We have control. Look at this. Um, Emperor and Temperance. Aries, Sagittarius. My way or the highway. Rigid and impatient. Some of them are dealing with somebody. Your person has a third party who's really controlling. Or who was really controlling. Because for um, some of you, this person will be a past person. Not still necessarily living together with your person. But their energy is still here. We have trauma bond, you know, toxic, conditional love rooted in dysfunction. That's what they had with this other person. That's exactly what they had with this other person. Look, been there, done that. Something that used to interest you no longer does. I told y'all with the Four of Cups. Boredom over it, a past experience, the thrill is gone. Cancer energy. Somebody is over that past person. Let me get one more. Constant validation. Some of them were dealing with somebody with big ego. Could be a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Somebody that constantly needed validation. That's like the queen of wands in reverse. Um, I learned the word histrionic. I had never heard the word histrionic until I got into tarot. But that's what I pick up. Whenever I see the queen of wands in reverse, that's just what I think about. Somebody who needs a lot of const you know, uh, ego stroking, validation, and attention. That was this person's ex-person, interestingly enough. Let me um, see here. What's going to happen next between the two of you? Because we had some communication. 
Look at this. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups. Look, they ain't turned their back on this past person. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Pisces here. Um, they want a connection with you. They want a happy home with you. They want happily ever after with you. They're tired of worrying about this stress from this past relationship. What is the um let's see here? I feel like before Scorpio season this will happen for y'all. The number um we have five and ten. Some of you could be born on May the 10th, because we have five and ten here. That's the day after my birthday. Um Yeah. Or maybe 501 if you transpose the 10. Okay, so that's my sister's birthday. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What is the um, most likely outcome for you two? We got the high priestess. They got a lot of feelings for you that they hide. We don't want to leave it there because we can't, we can't deal with hidden feelings, right? They need to come to the surface. The star. Spirit is saying, have faith. I'm going to read these cards to y'all. One more card for the most likely outcome. Spirit is saying, have faith. Be optimistic about this. Well, two more came. Um, we got the Page of Wands and we got the Seven of Swords. Why we got to end with the Seven of Swords? Um, I'm going to read that as this. Let me see if it's at the bottom of the deck to determine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So for some of you, we have Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Sagittarius um, and Cancer, Gemini, and Virgo here. Somebody is definitely manifesting this. I told y'all yesterday you're manifesting a soulmate. This is about manifesting. It says magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. I told y'all that yesterday. Control your thoughts, right? But there's someone deceptive here. I'm going to clarify this in a second. But there's someone deceptive here. I feel like this person is your person's past person. And I say that because I feel like your person may be a person that I don't even know if I, I'll say that they fall in love easily, which the, the page of wands can fall in love easily. That's not what I'm intuitively picking up. I'm picking up that this is a person who just loves hard when they do love. I feel like this is a person who um, they kind of go into things kind of blindly as far as like they can easily. I'm going to contradict myself by saying this. I don't want to make it sound like a contradiction because it's not a contradiction just imagine a person who idealistically they want a relationship right and they meet someone and they idealize that person they make that person their person when maybe that's not their person but it's just that they want to be in love so bad um and they feel like they've they vetted the person properly. They feel like they've done their, their due diligence with the person, but they end up finding out that this person is is a bit snaky. This person is, is not who they think they are. I just feel like your person fell in love with someone in the past. Could have been when they were younger because we have a page here which represents a young energy. Could even go back to when they were teenagers. But um, I definitely feel like they fell in love with someone in the past who was no good for them. And they had a lot of back and forth with this person. They may run back and forth to each other in the past. They might not be telling you that with the high priestess here, but I feel like this is more about their emotions for you. They feel like they really, really have some very strong feelings for you. This card says, meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive, right? So this person has been contemplating this. This is why they've been kind of slow with you. But they are hopeful with the star. Have faith the future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times and the light at the end of the tunnel. They want you to know that this is how they're seeing you. I haven't shown you how I feel yet. I haven't given you that validation. I haven't um, confirmed for you that it's, it's you and I. But what I do want from you is this. Ten of Cups. A happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, and people you can trust. So you're either going to have a blended family with them or go on to have children with them if you don't already have children with them. They they have been through something with this past person who lied to them that they fell in love with. That's why we have this energy here. I feel like this is someone they were with when they were younger or met when they were younger. Even if they went into adulthood together, they have known each other for a long time um, is what I feel. I think that's it, y'all. I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, Taurus. So your person wants you to know that they want happily ever after with you. But there's some obstacles that you two have to overcome. And a lot of truth needs to be spoken here because this past person caused them a lot of pain. And, you know, they've been truth speaking. They've been 
um, searching, soul searching here. Some of them are in hermit mode right now, or they've been in hermit mode maybe in a recent weeks or months with you, maybe not speaking to you, or maybe not consistently speaking to you like you were used to or like you would desire. Some of them have to move out of a home. Somebody does have a gambling issue, so I don't know if that's you, your person, or their other person that they were with before, but they definitely were with a pretty toxic person who was all about that bag right there. She like, I'm, you are the middleman for me to get to that bag. That's what it was about. But it's manifesting. Keep your thoughts positive. All right, Taurus, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on uh, Thursday, I think. Peace.